All right, I want to show you two options for spinal rotation. So the first is a staggered stance to open book. So if I want to rotate to the right, I'm doing this on both sides, but rotating to the right, I would have my left side to the wall. I don't necessarily need to be like leaning on it, but just maybe shoulder touching it. And then my right foot's going to be in front of my left, about hip width apart. So hip width apart, not like a balance beam. Uh, so hip width apart, my right leg is in front. The back heel can be up or down, whatever your comfort. And then I'm going to start by holding the band maybe a little wider than shoulder width apart. And you can adjust from there. Let's keep it at or below shoulder height. And then I'm going to watch my moving arm, which will be the right side as I rotate and try to bring the back of my shoulder to the wall. What we don't want to have happen is the hand goes further and then the shoulder dips forward. So it should look like this. And a little exhale on the way there. Can help you get a couple more degrees. Now the other option is a crossbody diagonal band pull. You'll notice that I have two because we can pull high to low or low to high. So for this, we can still be in a staggered stance, or you can just stand hip width apart with your knees slightly bent. It's kind of up to you. Um, I would say the staggered stance is a little bit more challenging because you have to rotate over a leg. So if we were gonna do that, I'm gonna put the leg that's furthest from my anchor in front. And then starting at about shoulder height for my high anchor band, I'm gonna rotate toward my hip. So shoulder to hip. Very slow and controlled. And with my lower anchor, I would go hip to shoulder. Hip to shoulder. And then do both sides. 